or whether they were going to sell narcotics and drugs, or whether they were going to hustle, or whether they were going to be drinking and smoking, or whether they were going to be in the streets or in the classrooms. It had to do with the critical decisions of who they were going to be friends with and who they weren't. It began with who they were going to follow and who they were going to get away from. And those folks that seemed like the squares, the ones that we used to laugh at are now the ones who are laughing at those of us who did otherwise. Those who stayed in school and got the education while we was out being cool on the corner, hanging out with our friends, talking about basketball and playing basketball and, and doing all the other things. They were at home studying. They were at home getting knowledge and education. They were at home developing character and building themselves and to be somebody. And now, in their latter days, as they have gotten older, God has blessed them for their indiligence. See, you can't expect anybody to invest in you. It is up to you as an individual to invest in yourself. No matter what you are going to be in your future, you are going to be determined by your actions right now. The person that you are going to become is going to be determined by the decisions that that you make in your teen years, whether you can go to school and then or whether you're going to be home taking care of a baby, whether you're going to be working in some seven or eight dollar an hour job, or whether you're going to be making 29 or 30 dollars an hour. That's the decisions and you're going to pay for it. The folks who are failures who have gotten themselves into these positions because of their decisions, who ignored their parents, who, who didn't want to hear good advice, are the same ones who are blaming all kinds of people. They're blaming this person for their mistakes. They're blaming that person for their failures. They're saying it's the system. They're blaming racists, but that is not who you blame. All right. All right now. All right. Choose you this day. Who you gonna serve? Are you gonna serve your lust? Are you gonna serve your booty calls? Are you gonna serve that little cute guy that's chasing you? Because you need some attention? Is that who you're gonna give your body to? Or are you gonna give your body to God? Amen. Who who how do you value yourself? More than some uh, some affection from somebody who don't mean what they say anyway. Right, right, right. Wisdom, right. knowledge is crying. He says, "Turn, you at my reproof. Yes. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you yeah. and make my words known. Make known my words unto you. Yeah. When you begin to turn away from these people, yeah. the spirit of God can come in you. Yeah. Then the Holy Ghost." becomes your lover. The Holy Ghost becomes your boyfriend and your girlfriend. The Holy Ghost becomes your companion. The Holy Ghost becomes your strength instead of words from your friends. The Holy Ghost is your buckler and your strength. And that's who you need on your side. God, he says, if you will turn in my reproof, I'm going to give you the things that your heart desires. You're not going to have to sell drugs to make a living. You're not going to have to sell drugs to have a new car. You're not going to be stuck in some amen, low rent districts. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to place you on higher ground. How many times have we seen those who we thought were big shots doing well that ended up giving all the money to the attorneys uh, that ended up doing nothing. Uh, many of the coolest people that I know today are folks who don't really have nothing. They're just the same person now in their 50s uh, that they were when we was in our teens. Uh, they're still cool. Essex, man, how you doing? Good to see you, brother. Uh, man, you know, we always knew you was smart. You was going to be something. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, what they didn't know and what they didn't understand Saying, had, had nothing to do with me being smart uh, because I've come to find out uh, that I'm not smart at all. Uh, I'm just a biggest fool uh, as they were. Uh, but one thing I did do uh, early on that it 
has helped me, uh, and that was get myself uh, involved with God, uh, get to know God, uh, get to have a relationship with God, uh, have some protection uh, even from myself. Uh, and let me tell you this much, uh, if you a young person, uh, you need to have a friend uh, that's sticking closer than a brother. Uh, if you want to have a friend, uh, you need to have a friend uh, that can help you through. Uh, because most of the time, uh, the friends that you have, uh, they can't even help themselves. Uh, see, we need God to help us. Uh, we need God uh, to get us through. Uh, develop some fear of God uh, while you're still young. Uh, you need to be able uh, to hear God saying, uh, my child, uh, I don't want you to do that. Uh, I don't want you to go there. Uh, I don't want you to be involved with them. Uh, but I want you uh, to give yourself to me. Uh, instead of you being home, uh, I want you to come to church. Uh, instead of you learning uh, about this or that, uh, I want you to learn about me. Uh, learn about the word of God. Uh, I want to put something in you uh, and put some character in you uh, because you're going to need it uh, as you go through this world. Uh, you're going to have enough uh, people telling you to do wrong. Uh, there's going to be one uh, on every corner. Uh, you're going to find out uh, that there are more folks uh, out here uh, who are trying to influence you uh, in the wrong way. Uh, that there are folks uh, who's telling you the truth. Uh, that there are folks uh, who's giving you the life uh, and the bread uh, that you need to make. Uh, see, I'm trying to tell y'all uh, all the shouting that you do. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but if you want to do something uh, for yourself, uh, do it between your ears. Uh, get the word of God uh, in your mind. Uh, get the word of God uh, in your heart. Uh, that he said you might not uh, sin against me. Uh, when you get the word of God uh, in your heart, uh, even if you do wrong, uh, you will know you're wrong. Uh, but what's so scary uh, and what's so bad uh, is that folks doing wrong uh, don't even know they're wrong. Uh, they think it's okay uh, to kill somebody uh, over $500. Uh, they think it's okay uh, to shoot somebody uh, for walking too close uh, to their old raggedy car. Uh, they think it's okay uh, to go in and rob folks uh, in their homes uh, because they have uh, and they don't have. Uh, see, they think it's all right. Uh, and they won't stand. They don't have uh, any remorse. Uh, even when they go to trial, uh, they can't feel sorry uh, because they feel like, uh, well, I had a right uh, to go take uh, what you, you have worked for. Uh, they don't have any feelings uh, about their own blood, uh, their own children. Uh, we got streets out here today uh, where relatives uh, are pimping the children. Uh, relatives uh, got them selling dope uh, and telling them uh, that if you don't bring uh, some money home, uh, don't you come home. Uh, don't try to realize uh, the world is getting worse. Uh, I thought it was bad uh, when I was young. Uh, but what I see today, uh, it lets me know uh, that time uh, is winding up. Uh, see, it's getting close uh, to the return of the Lord. Uh, and it's going to keep on uh, getting worse. Uh, don't you buy all this uh, talk out here uh, about how uh, uh, things are going to get better, uh, how things are going to improve. Uh, because if that was the case, uh, the word of God uh, would be a liar. Uh, because the scripture says uh, that men uh, shall wax uh, worse and worse. Uh, in other words, uh, that deeds uh, are going to become worse. Uh, that deeds uh, are going to become uglier. Uh, you better get yourself saved. All right. All right. Young folks, young people, y'all think it's all fun and games. You think that he says, that, but uh, you have said that not all my counsel and will have none of my reproof. So here God is trying to help you. But you don't want no part of it. You don't want no part of it. Man, I 
I'm trying to tell you to get yourself together, but that ain't what you want to do.